Have you ever wanted to start an online business or a coaching business and something's always held you back? Well, hey, today I want to share with you the top three fears when starting your online business or your coaching business. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson, and today I'm going to help you get over those fears. The number one fear that have I found with many of my clients and my students of starting an online business or a coaching business is the fear of putting yourself out there and looking stupid. I know that's what happened to me because they tell you if you're going online that one of the best ways to get visible is to do videos. And so many people are nervous about doing a video and I was. And if it wasn't for my first mentor, my first mastermind coach, I probably wouldn't have done it for a long time. But what he had me do for videos was just take my iPhone, make a 30 second video, and then upload it to Facebook. I didn't have to go live. I didn't have to do anything. I just did a video. 30, he challenged me for 30 days to do this. And it changed what I was doing. See, but then they tell you also what to become known or to build a business. The key to a lot of it is putting out value. Well, I remember I went to my first group and I just made a post and I came back and I thought, oh, nobody made a comment, nobody liked it. What the heck? Don't I know what I'm talking about? See, all these thoughts start coming in. But to tell you the truth, that fear of putting yourself out there and feeling stupid, you just have to get over it. And you get over it by one, developing new skills, right? Maybe you should hire a coach and have your coach help you through that. Maybe you just go in online groups and make comments and don't worry about what the, what the results are. Just keep trying. Now, what I would tell you to do is I would shoot videos. If you have a YouTube channel, I'd start one. I do Facebook Lives. I just do a video and put it up there. I do Reels. Reels are really important now with videos. So is TikTok. Just do it. I mean, what can happen? Right? So one, that fear of putting yourself out there and looking stupid, I hear you. It's there. You just have to grow past it. The second fear is the fear of being rejected. And oh my gosh, this is a challenge. Right, so let's say I started an online business, and guess what? I was in network marketing before. There's nothing wrong with network marketing. They always tell you to go talk to your family and friends. Do you know how many times my family and friends told me I was dumb, or I was stupid, or what I was doing was, was never going to work? And it got hard to handle that rejection. But you know, they don't reject. They aren't rejecting you. They're rejecting the idea that they can become successful. Or maybe they're just not interested. Maybe they're very satisfied with where they are. They like working when they're nine to five. They like living paycheck to paycheck. See, that's not you though. But the feeling of being rejected is real, right? It's But it's the big risk of entrepreneurship, right? If you're starting a new business, if you're starting the coaching business, not everybody's going to want to hire you. Not everybody's going to want to join your business. It's a numbers game. So here's the thought. If you're going to be a coach, try to get 10 people to reach out to you and see what your program's about. And if one of them signs up, guess what? That's huge. Just understand this fear of rejection is real but don't let it hold you back. The third one, and this is a big one. This was me all over the place. It's the fear of failure, right? What happens if I do this? If I try something brand new and I don't succeed, I'm a failure. Nothing works. I don't make any money. I waste all my time. 
Have you ever thought of that stuff? And I know I have. Here's the deal though. The fear of failure, you are not gonna be 100% successful. So analyze what you're doing, all right? If you're, when you make a post, see which posts are working better. Guess what, I can help you with making posts. If you make a video, see which style of videos work better. If you become a coach, make sure you have your niche, develop skills, and share what you know. I know that will help. Just understand this, failure is part of the process. And the only true way for you to get past any of this is just don't quit. So again, my top three fears when starting your online or your coaching business, one is the fear of putting yourself out there and looking stupid. Two is the fear of, the fear of being rejected. Oh, that's hard. It's kind of like asking your first date, right? Trying to find ask that girl the first time to go with you. That was a challenge. Well, guess what? You just got to get by it. And the third one is fear of, fa fear of failure. They're all there. So I hope that helps. I hope you got a lot of value from this. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Hit that little notification button. I got a couple freebies down below in the links that will help you with social media marketing. I have a, a link for a free call with me, a free strategy call, nothing going, just so you and I can talk for 15, 20 minutes and see if I can help you in your way. There you go. So you all take care. I will talk to you soon.